nothing has been heard from Shelby, and I'm truly afraid that she's not alive. Her last known activity on the internet was logging on to this website, Vampire Freaks. It includes lists of pictures of members in full goth clothing, the details about goth and vampire theme that gatherings all over the world, many in the Atlanta area. The crazy things that you see on TV that are associated with the darker cult lifestyle. And this is by far not the first time someone may have been tangled up in a vampire cult. Roderick Farrell, member of a gang of teens known as the Vampire Clan, double slaying of Naomi Ruth and Richard Wendorf. Then there's Giazza and uh, Hassenkopf, bank teller Girly Chew Hassenkopf, murdered by him. It goes on and on. Your fears are well put. Rupa Michelinetti, what more can you tell us? Wendy Ellis, Shelby's stepmom with us tonight. Rupa, go ahead. All right, we also know, Nancy, that two other classmates at the same high school that Shelby goes to also vanished. One was one of her best friends who she just perhaps had a falling out with about a week before Shelby vanished. Then she vanished a week later after Shelby vanished, and then another girl vanished the week after that. Now, both of those girls have been found, are safe and sound. However, Back Shelby... Back to Wendy Ellis, Shelby's stepmother... Wendy, obviously there's a connection with Shelby's disappearance and these other girls. I believe there's a connection in that I know that they all dabble in the gothic lifestyle, um, try to live that kind of life if you see these girls out. One I've never met personally, um, the, the one of the two that have been found recently, I believe Saturday night, um, I have had some dealings with, um, always has some concerns about her and, and her activities as well as Shelby's. Let me give you the website, the tip line, 770-499-4653, 770-499-4653, help us bring Shelby home. Let's stop and remember.